It's a bit rainy today, so, but who cares? So, today we're going to talk about uh, two things, I think. I might split it up into two videos. All right, first we'll talk about diet and weight loss and gut issues and what I've healed and so forth, all right? And what you can heal and so forth. And uh, if you need my personal guidance, you can always consult me. The email is down below and it's also on my about page. So you just email and we'll uh, make a plan and fix things, all right? So today we're going to talk about uh, diet first, all right? So most people have, I have noticed that a lot of people have sugar addictions and well, <laughs> that's, you know, everyone knows this, but it's so prevalent and uh, sugar is in everything and people find it hard to, you know, avoid foods because they don't know what to eat and uh, you need to just avoid all packaged foods, all right? Just avoid all packaged foods, uh, focus on whole foods, and when I say whole foods, you know, um, like whole foods. And uh, focus on quality, focus on quality as much as you can. Um, focus on, focus on um, uh, nutrient dense foods, focus on organ meats, meats. So go as ancestrally as you can. So focus on meats, fish, uh, eggs, um, nut seeds, nuts, and seeds. I say nut seeds because uh, nuts are actually fruit. It's a dry fruit, and so yeah. <laughs> that was the th thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so I got a cute dog here. All right, so. We gotta focus on our diet, all right? Uh, focus ancestrally. And nut seeds, fruits, meats, organ meats, fish, seafood. Algae is good, actually. There is a lot of iodine in algae. And uh, in seaweed. There is a lot of iodine in seaweed. And um, there is a lot of omega-3 in fish, so that's what you need. You need to balance omega-3 with omega-6. That's the whole issue with the omega-3 thing and the omega-6 thing is that most people... Uh, the issue is that most people, they they uh, overeat and, you know, when they fry their potatoes and so forth, they overeat on omega-6s. So it's an imbalance and it's an incredible imbalance. Like. A lot of times more than omega-3 that's the problem there when it comes to that um, and uh, so you need to avoid vegetable oils you need to you can use uh, olive oil actually all olives are a fruit so you know it's made of fruit but uh, you can use uh, in the keto community so to speak they use MCT oil you can use, uh, but I wouldn't do that. I, I mean, why not just use olive oil that's been used for thousands and thousands of years by the ancient Egyptians, by Spartans, by Greeks, and so forth. All right. So uh, I would other, I would rather uh, use that instead of this uh, artificial MCT thing. Uh, coconut oil. There are some studies showing that coconut oil is a bit bad, but uh, it's still better than all this uh, vegetable oil. All right, so I need to watch where I'm going. It's raining a lot, or, well, it's going in and out. It's like, it's like almost like a frequency thing. <laughs> all right, so, so we focus on our diet, we focus on ourselves, we work on ourselves, we improve our diet. You can do this gradually, you don't have to cut out everything immediately, right? You can do this gradually. 
this is a whole process this will take some time you can't just expect results immediately it will take some time all right and uh, um, uh, what else what else all right so yeah you focus on the diet you focus on meats organ meats you focus on nutrient density nu nutritious foods all right so foods that are highly nutritious and some why I don't speak of there is a reason why I don't speak of huh? all right I gotta <laughs> fix this thing all right so there is a reason there is a reason why I don't speak of vegetables and so forth that's because there is a lot of anti-nutrients in them so when you eat vegetables like spinach spinach has a lot of nutrition all right it has a lot of nutrition that is true but it's also true that it has a lot of anti-nutrients all right so and you need to avoid anti-nutrients because those anti-nutrients like oxalates in spinach they will take out calcium and other important minerals in your body that you already have in your body all right so it will just make matters worse all right it will just uh, make things worse so you need to that's why i also don't recommend tea nor coffee it's one of the reasons another reason is addiction of course now sugar addiction so it was mainly about sugar addiction that i was thinking of but this will work for everything all right you need to you need to focus on the ancestral diet ancestrally as possible all right you need to focus on an ancestral as possible diet you need to cut the sugars all right so i was talking about sugar addiction initially i was thinking of sugar addiction but you can heal your gut you can heal whatever not just with diet you can heal with diet but there is a more effective way which is through fasting but uh perhaps i'll split that into another video so you go ancestrally as possible you can gradually do this so for example you move more and more into paleo and so forth all right so you move into paleo or keto there are several diets out there you can try them out but i would go paleo first then you can try keto keto actually focus too much on fat you don't need that much fat i would rather focus on protein instead right so i i talk about a high protein diet it's much better you can your body can convert protein if it needs to into fat and glucose so glucose it needs to the body wants the liver to create glucose to store glucose let's walk back all right the body wants to store glucose and um, and so forth so there are two fuel systems in the body there are two fuel systems fat and let's see if i can do like this perhaps fat and uh, and uh, glucose all right so when you eat like carbs and stuff uh, the bo body will turn it into glucose into sugar so that's why carbs are also highly addictive and that's why i always talk about cutting carbs because most people have problems with carbs all right so that's why we do that and also when we talk about sugar addiction so it's like it's the natural thing to do there to cut carbs as well i would avoid dairy as well because it's highly pasteurized it doesn't have the nutrients in it you're just drinking for nothing all right and calcium don't worry about calcium there is plenty of calcium in eggs in fish in meat in organ meats you need organ meats uh, you need organ meats because they're the most nutrient dense foods out there all right we eat for nutri nutritious value you know we we eat for nutrition as well as energy all right but energy comes from fat and protein in some sense and protein will build muscle of course as well and it does some other stuff as well but we don't need to go into all the details there but what you the only thing you have to remember as a sugar addict is to first 
try to go paleo as possible, all right? And so you avoid uh, rice, you avoid bread and so forth. But you gradually do all these things. For example, you, for example, let's say there are a lot of chocolate addicts there, like I was. I used to eat like a bunch of chocolate with, together with soda. That's crazy. A lot of sugar there, all right? And sugar, there's no nutrition there. That's why it's bad. It's not bad because it's sugar. It's bad because it's, it doesn't have any nutrition, all right? And it's psychologically addictive. It perhaps isn't addictive physically, but psychologically. And so basically anything can be uh, addi addictive. But, uh, so you focus on meats and so forth. So, so you avoid this addiction as well. All right, so, well, so you work on this, you, uh, you change, for example, uh, all table sugar obviously has to go. That simply has to go. I do dislike uh, artificial sweeteners and all that stuff because that will only further make the whole process much more difficult. Instead, eat fruits, eat, eat a lot of fruits. If you're a sugar addict, eat a lot of fruits, especially in the beginning, all right? So you eat a lot of fruits. Uh, try to uh, eat berries, different berries, strawberries, blueberries. They contain a lot of antioxidants, minerals, and so forth. A lot of nutrients and not a lot of sugar, all right? Especially compared to the nutrients. So we have like Eskimos and uh, other uh, hunter-gatherer people like that in the world. And they eat fruits actually. So this have been a common thing for, I mean, that's what hunter-gatherers ate. Basically meat, organs, and then some fruits, a little bit of fruit and the wild fruits. So wild fruits contain a little bit less sugar. That's why uh, we speak of berries because they're still kind of uh, close to their um, ancestral uh, past while modern apples have changed quite a lot all right modern apples have qu changed quite a lot uh, not just apples but fruits in general so all right so you focus on these things and so yeah and also you can exchange the table sugar with raw honey as well. Use raw honey. Now, usually, all these hunter-gatherers, they would eat this in season, you know, in the summer. So you fatten up in the summer, and then you fast in the, in the winter when you naturally don't have as much food. Food is scarce. So that's why we're actually meant to fast and then eat and then fast and so forth. But not, not you know, in an extreme way. Well, perhaps they did actually do this in an extreme way because sometimes you couldn't f find food at all, you know? And animals are the same way. All right, so, 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 uh, so you focus on this when you're a sugar addict, right? You focus on fruits, you focus on raw honey, you avoid dairy, a dairy, uh, especially commercial stuff, they have a lot of, a lot of uh, sugar, right? so you avoid it, you just simply avoid it, you simply avoid it, and it's not that good for you because, you know, and people speak of calcium, but that's also because we lack other vitamins, vitamins work together, so you need fish and eggs and so forth, eggs are one of the most neutral uh, neutral, uh, one of the most nutrient-dense foods, um, as well as liver. Liver is one of the best foods, superfoods you can eat. Eggs as well, like I said, they contain everything. And now, a vegan diet is very difficult to accomplish because it's so complex, and uh, because you know, you've got to prepare each food properly, and actually ancestrally, because they, they had some wisdom there we have lost. So you need to research a lot and you need to uh, implement a lot of, you need, uh, you need a bunch of uh, 
pills as well, uh, supplements, and uh, and that's boring. Of course, that's boring. How's that gonna last? You know. So vegan is not that easy. People think it's so easy. But so uh, all right. Started to started to uh, hit me as well. I have the gods against me. The gods are against me. Oh my god. This machine is going crazy. This machine. Head back actually. Because there is some uh, stand under there and just speak all right so the gods are against me today <laughs> i have the weather against me so all right okay so you focus on that you avoid you avoid uh, uh, sh uh coffee as well uh, because this will only want you to eat more sugar most likely a lot of people use uh, sugar in their coffee and stevia and all that stuff None of that, all right? No gums either. Even if it says sugar-free because they put artificial sugar in it, all right? Look carefully on the labels. Avoid all packaged foods, like I said. Uh, yeah. So yeah, also, so gradually put like, for example, when you eat oatmeal or some other, if you eat oatmeal or some other, uh, other breakfast, you put some raw honey on it, and then later you'll switch to bananas and stuff like that. If you're a chocolate addict, you move away from chocolate. Use dark chocolate if you can, but even that is not that good because it contains a lot of sugar as well. So uh, most of them. So make sure to buy some raw co cocoa powder and put it on, let's say, apples and pears and bananas and so forth. That way, you'll uh, uh, still this uh, thirst for uh, chocolate. Uh, and also chocolate has a lot of uh, iron and, and magnesium and uh, selenium and so forth. So you gotta be a little bit careful with chocolate. So you use it sparingly and you sprinkle it on your banana and so forth occasionally, all right? All right, let's stand here. Occasionally, all right. Okay, so let's finish this here. Okay, so Actually, let's continue. I concentrate better when I'm walking fast That's my thing apparently Apparently, that's my thing All right, so All right, so that's what you do You focus on yourself you focus on your diet improve it gradually if you want to instantaneously but you know most people have to do it gradually i did it gradually i went more and more ancestral more paleo i skipped the uh, sweet potatoes later i uh, i've tried keto i've tried everything i've tried all of them and uh i ended up basically ancestral um uh, i've tried carnivore as well a lot of people don't perhaps don't know about carnivore carnivory. But, uh, all right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's it. I think. If you have any problems with diet, weight loss, want to heal like uh, gut, heal your gut with diet, and or if you have some addictions, like if you have sugar addictions and weight loss problems and other issues because of diet you can uh, contact me the email is down below we'll uh, make a personal step-by-step -step plan for you and we'll fix these problems okay. see you tomorrow.